channel. My name's Alaya. It's nice to meet you. I'm a dark goddess, you see. I'm the goddess of hate and jealousy. My father is Anubis. My mother is Isis. Go figure how I would turn dark. But, and then, another note. I just thought I'd pop up here because, well, this time of the year is where we like to get a little mischievous. So, I thought, why not show you guys how I get ready? And such beautiful looks. Yes, I will admit, this look is a little on the extravagant side. It's a little bit costumey, but, well, you need to be a little costumey and extra. On Halloween, Please do subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of me, Alaya, well, just comment down below. And I'm sure Stella would be happy to oblige. Yes? Maybe she'll do less comical makeup. Who knows? Maybe she'll do something more suitable. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe she might try and turn me into a good goddess. Now, if that's something you'd like to see, definitely tell Stella. I'm pretty sure she'd have fun turning me into a good goddess. Now, If I may be excused, I've had enough. Just relax and enjoy the sparkle. The sparkle, the sparkle. Enjoy the sparkle. So I'm going in with my with primer first, and I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Coconut Blurring Primer. I'm just going to be applying this to my fingers, and I'm just going to smooth it all over my all over my face. And if you guys like my robe, um, I made it in high school many, many, many years ago. So, yeah, I know I'm not that fond of it. So, you know, all right, primer has been applied. Now we're gonna we're gonna apply a small, a slight layer of concealer just to hide my problem areas and then I think from there we're going to go right into the eyes and then we're going to do foundation out, uh, afterwards or should I do foundation first hmm. <laughs> the 
Game Pie Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to quickly set this with some powder while I decide my next step. What can you do? Things happen. So, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty foundation. Um, in the shade 390 and the shade for the concealer is also Fenty is 380. It's gonna squirt my foundation onto my beauty blender and we're gonna apply away. Pay no attention to the church bells in the background. I live near a church.
I think I should build up my courage a bit more. Now I'm gonna go back in with my with my concealer. That brought back a little bit of warmth to my face, but clearly, uh, but clearly, um, you know, now we're going to set this face with some powder. I'm switching over to the powder puff. Don't come from me because my powder is not name brand. It is <laughs> Rimmel London, unfortunately. At the time, it was the only powder I could afford, and apparently, I'm running low. So, I'm just gonna remove the shaker.
Okay, so now that I got my face powdered and I look like a weird raccoon, we are gonna go into the eyes. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using my MAC Painterly Painter Pot in the shade Lion Low. So. I'm going to use my flat brush. to apply my that up because I will need it soon. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, the shadow. So today we're going to be using one of my favorite palettes of all times and I, I know I'm going to get roasted for this, but I'm using my Jeffree Star Bloodless palette. It's got some colors in here that are just amazing and will just really go with this look. So to, to start, I'm going to take this fluffy packer brush and I'm going to dive right into the color Dungeon. And I'm going to put Dungeon all over my lid. Okay. 
and bring it all the way up to the bra bone. Just like this. We're just going to deepen it up. And we're just going to fuse this top edge here with the blending brush. Because we're going to put another color there anyway. So we just want to diffuse that out a bit. There. That looks really good so far. So we will go back in and clean that up a little bit afterwards. Um, you know. So the next color we're going to, so the next step we're going to do is we're actually going to cut the lid, uh, cut the lid using the same primer, but I'm going to be using a different brush. I'm going to be using this brush. I can stamp the shape that I want. It's okay if we messed up a little bit because we're gonna we can go back in. And just touch up our blend with dungeon again. line again actually seeing as I have the painter pot out I'm just gonna apply a little bit more to the brush and I'm just gonna fix this area that I messed up there 
just covering out that shape again because I'm going to put some highlighter in that spot. Voila. So the next shade we're going to be taking And we're going to be using this synthetic packer brush is the shade right here dungeon sorry executioner it's a gorgeous black with purple reflect and that's the reason why we still have powder under the eyes And we're just going to pop this all over the bottom lid. It's okay if we don't bring it all the way out to the wing because when we blend it out, it'll blend out to that wing. So we'll have a perfect shape at the end. Don't worry, we're gonna go back in with that same dungeon color and blend the two colors together. Just make a, just diffuse them out. I just really needed this smoky black with the purple reflect because the reflect would really add, adds to the, to the, the look that we're going for today. So we're taking that blending brush and we're dipping it into Dungeon. And we're just gonna buff that into the crease. So that way we can intensify that shade while blending out Executioner at the same time. Oh, that looks stunning. I'm just gonna pack in a little bit more uh, Executioner because it needs a bit more definity. Or definition. Definity. Ugh, what am I doing making up words? Two dark shades against each other is kinda hard <laughs> to see, to tell which is which. Well, that looks really good so far. Really good so far. And it's okay if we lost some of that glitter because we can always pop it back in. Just take some of... Take the brush. Dip it back into the executioner. And then we're just going to press this glitter back into the eye back onto the eye. Just being careful of that blend. And I didn't, I wasn't careful. So I'm just gonna take this pencil brush, dip it back into the executioner. 
I mean dungeon and just fix that up. Clean that off. Fabulous. Now is my favorite part. We're gonna cut the crease again. So this time, we're taking brush again, and we're going to create a, another cut crease. Just in the center. So right in that spot that we carved out in the middle, we're gonna be going in with this shit in the mid with this shade here in the middle, in the middle row called Sworn Enemy, and we're gonna be using our finger for this. Okay, it's a gorgeous golden metallic, and I'm just gonna pot that, pot that on my on that lid on that right there, and then we're going to. Um, Blend it out to create this nice kind of cascaded, dark, sexy, smoky, very evil look. And I'm going to finish the other eye off, off camera, apply my mascara and my lashes, and I'll be back for the finishing touches. Oh wow, stunning. Just gonna take the blending brush now and blend out a little. Just pat a bit more of that gold back in there. Blend out. Oh, that is stunning. Just gonna add some of this glitter back in. All right, so I'm gonna go offline and I'm gonna finish this eye off camera, apply my mascara and my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my eyelashes on and I finished the other eye off camera. Doesn't it look stunning? I've added a few jewels. Um, just to complete the ensemble. So let's get into the mascara and finishing up the eyes by tight lighting the waterline. So today's mascara is going to be by Milk Makeup. It's the Kush Mascara. I've been loving this mascara. Mascara for, oh, oh gosh, for a while now. So one of my favorites. Um, and if you're wondering the lashes, they are the Sephora Collection Lashes. Uh, number number thirty four. Viv uh, Vivica Vivacious or Vivacious, whatever. Bazoo looks stunning. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the eyes with some tight lining of the waterline and some extra details I've got going on here. As you can see, I've got this very Egyptian vibe going on right now. 
So I'm just gonna grab my gold eyeshadow that I use for lighting my eyes because it's a gel. And my liner brush. I'm knocking things over left, right, and center. And no, it ain't on purpose. On purpose. I should try and contour. So here's my brush. All right, let's start by fixing the Egyptian detail. I don't think it's working. Forget about. Well, forget about the. It's there. You can see it there. It blends away. Unless we use a different color. Forget about it. Ooh. I think my eyeliner's gone bad. Excuse me for a second. There, they've been tight lined. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carve out my eye, um, carve out that eye shape using a different color, um, using a, a colored lipstick. So I'm gonna take some of this lipstick I have here. Load it up onto the brush. And then I'm gonna Can you even see that? No, you can't even see that. Okay, forget about carving out the shape. I should have done a less dark and elaborate look. So for blush, we're gonna be going in with this Tarte Pal uh, blush in the color party, the 12 hour Amazon clay. Um, I'm just gonna go like very ham, I'm just gonna go ham on it. Um, I do have another blush here, but I don't feel like using a uh, cream plus I already set, so. I've got my blush. Just 
かな There we go. We've got blush on. We look fab. Now we're going to go in for some highlighter. So for today's highlighter, we're going to be using my Too Faced. This is the Diamond Dust Highlighter in Fire, I believe. Uh, the shade and name is not on this is not uh, written on here, but that's the one. Diamond, diamond Fire, Diamond Fire. And I usually just use a fan brush for this. So I got my fan brush and I'm just gonna grab my setting spray, which is Jeffree Star, X Morphe, and I'm just gonna give it a squirt. A quick little spritz. I'm just gonna double check in my mirror. It could be a bit more blinding, but that's because I'm using a fan brush. But I do use other brushes from time to time for my highlighter. And now for my favorite part, the lips. Okay. So today I'm going to be using a combination of Sephora Collection and Jeffree Star. So Normally at this point of the video, I would prep my lips, but I did that already. I am uh, using the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub in Chocolate Covered Strawberry. I love it, it's my favorite. So now I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in I'm Royalty, and I'm going to fill in my lips. Voila, beautiful purple lips. I just love the shade of purple. Or purple. <laughs> but we're not done. No, we're not. Because now we're going to go in with the Sephora Collection Purple in... I have no idea what color, which shade it is because I can't see the shade name. It was also gifted to me, so... Yeah. And I'm just going to go in the center of the lip. 
creating a, a shadow. A shadowed ombre. And there we have it. Our lips are done. And there we have a completed makeup look. But the video's not over yet. It's time for setting spray. And my setting spray is the Jeffree X Morphe. And... Ugh, oh, I can get a better with my right hand. And my setting fan is Patrick Ta. And there we go. I will be right back with the final reveal. So stay tuned. And there you have it. The finished look. A dark Egyptian goddess. Thank you guys for watching it.